Hi, this is Les, your Stunning Eating Cheddar. Hope you're well, and welcome to this fresh update on Bitcoin. Now, in my previous video that I posted last week, I mentioned some important levels on Bitcoin to keep an eye on. And if we just zoom back a bit here so we can actually see the full picture here on Bitcoin, you can actually see exactly these levels on my chart. This is what I'm looking at here is an eight hour time frame chart of Bitcoin. Let me zoom in here. And before I go through these market profile levels on, on the right hand side, let me just quickly do this here for you. OK, so if we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to measure from this low to this high. So let me just get my Fibonacci tool here, drag from the low to the high. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, I said that if Bitcoin falls below this golden ratio level, that's what you see there, the 61.8 percent retracement level. OK, if it falls below that, and certainly if it closes below that, that is going to increase the probability, increase the odds that we're going to head back down to the previous lows that we formed, the previous February, April lows. OK, in other words, whenever price usually falls below the 61.8 percent retracement level, it increases the probability that the price will go back and retest its previous low to about a probability of 85 to 90 percent. Now, some Fibonacci purists if you want to call it that, disagree with that. They say, no, you've got the 78.6% level, but you know what? doesn't really matter. It really makes very little difference. Now, I do just want to get rid of this Fibonacci levels on my chart for a minute and just show you this. Now, apart from the fact that we've got some supports underneath here, which I'll tell you about in just a few moments, uh, just zoom back a bit more. I want to show you this, which is you will see there is this trend line. OK, that's the purple line I've drawn on my chart. So as you can see, I've drawn this uh, purple line here connecting these major lows. OK, and if we just put a line through them, okay, as I've done, you can see here, there is a probability that there may be some support right at this level if in case Bitcoin comes down to that level. So there is a small probability that if Bitcoin comes and tests that level, we might see a bounce off of those levels. Will it be enough to gather momentum and actually push Bitcoin higher? Maybe, but I personally doubt it. Uh, I think the more likely scenario is that we'll come down and retest the previous lows. And in fact, this is the level I'm really interested in, which as you can see here on my chart is shown to you by this. Let me just uh, show you here. As shown to you by this blue horizontal line that you see on my chart. And now I've talked about this horizontal line before. This is my market profile indicator, which I'm hoping to release this year. But essentially what that line here means is that there has been a tremendous amount, quite a lot of buying activity at that level. Now, the thicker this line is means the more activity there's been at that level. So that level at the 6,450 to 6,470 level there is going to be a key level for Bitcoin. If Bitcoin comes down to that level, OK, let me just remove these lines. If Bitcoin comes down to the level, it's quite likely we might see buyers stepping in and then potentially pushing Bitcoin back up higher. Now, we'll have to wait and see if indeed buyers do rejoin the market at that point. But also, as you probably notice on my chart, there's also another level you want to pay attention to, which is right over here. And these are the thick red lines or almost thick red lines that you see on my chart at this level. That's at the 9,700 level. Now, you want to mark your chart at that level, OK? Because if at some point the next few months, maybe this year, that Bitcoin comes back up and if it retests that level, then this particular market profile level you see on my chart and that what that shows is that there's been a lot of selling activity at that point. That is going to hold resistance for Bitcoin and Bitcoin needs to push through that. OK, so bottom line is keep an eye on that level. Mark it on your chart, because if you come and test that level at some point in the next few months, that level is going to be very important indeed for Bitcoin. All right, guys, so that's what I got. And that level there is going to be the line in the sand for Bitcoin. All right, guys, hope this video has helped. And if it has, give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe to our videos for future updates. Thanks a lot.